Hello everyone. Uh, this is my second video on PSPICE tutorial. So this video is actually on an introduction to Netlist. So basically there are actually two ways to simulate circuit using PSPICE. One of them is to use schematics as you have seen from my first video and another one is using Netlist. So you get an idea about what this video is about. So what is Netlist? Netlist is nothing but writing a text file with node numbers and element name and value. So you can think of it like uh, actually a code. Uh, you write it on a text file and you execute it from PSPICE AD design. Uh, in other words, analog and digital uh, analog and digital simulator. Okay. So let's have an example. Okay. So here you can see a resistor whose name is R1 of 100 k kilo ohms and here are two node numbers. So the resistor is attached between two nodes, node number 1 and node number 2. So how we can write that in a netlist? So in the netlist we have to write the command as R1. So at first the name of the element will come. So here the name of the element is R1. So I have written here R1. Second the first node. So here the node first node is 1 and the second node is 2. So in the register as it is a passive element, the node number may be interchanged, there, there is no problem. But in active elements, there is some convention we have to follow, we will see next. Okay. And then the last argument is the value of the register here, it is 100k. So I have written here 100k. So the basic structure is, at first comes the element name, then the first node, then the second node and lastly the value of the element. Okay, now let's go to the active elements. So here we know that voltage source is an active element. So here V1 is an uh, is a voltage source, and here are two nodes, node number A and node number B. As I have told earlier in the earlier video, node number can be selected as your as your wish. So here I've written in alphabetical manner. So here it is A and here it is B, and the node uh, and the voltage source has a voltage of 20 volts. But here uh, there is a subtle difference. Because sources can be of two types, we know, right? Uh, DC source and AC source. As we are writing command, so how will PSPICE know that our source is DC or AC? For that, we have to explicitly write in the latest command DC or AC. Here, the latest command is V1. At first, like the register, uh, at first comes the element name. So here it is V1. And then the first node. And always remember the plus source comes first. Where the plus source is connected, that node comes first. Here. At A node, the first source is connected, so here A comes first, and the B is connected to the negative node, so here it comes B, so A, B, and then we specify the type of the source, so here it is DC source, so we write DC, that will capital letter, and then the 20 volt, here voltage uh, V is uh, optional, you may write or may not write, but it's a good practice to write this. So the final command is V1, A, B, DC, and 20 volts. And similarly, for any inductor capacitor, you follow the same convention as uh, resistor. And for any active element, uh, either that be a DC source uh, uh, or AC source or a voltage source or a current source, you follow the same convention. So, in my last video, I saw you, uh, I show, showed you a simulation using a schematic of this circuit. So, how we can write this circuit in Netlist without drawing the figure? We want to know the load voltages, the currents, and etc. Okay, so let's begin. At first, you have to do something like this. You go to any uh, folder and you just open a text file. So here you go new and text document. I have already created one here. So if I see here, uh, you go to the notepad and you just open your circuit and keep your notepad here. Okay. So the basic convention is at first you have to write some uh, name of the file. So I, let me write this as example one. Okay. And then you have to na uh, uh, name the circuit name of the simulation. So this is really important. So let me write this is circuit one dot and the type of the file. So this one is CIR type format. You may search this in Google what this one type means. So CIR basically means circuit. Uh, that's how PSPICE AD will know that you are trying to simulate something. Okay. So this is circuit one dot CIR. And now we have to write our command. So you may write any element first, but uh, the best practice is right to, uh, to go from left to right. So I will just follow that. So at first we have a 20 volt DC source, right? 
so at first what was the convention let me see again at first you write the name of the source then the two nodes plus source and minus source then the dc and two nodes. so exactly this one okay so i write um, vs so vs and the first node is one as you can see from here second node is zero right is here it is brown so we write zero and uh, uh, it is a DC source, so I write DC and then 20 volts. So the voltage source is covered. Now I similarly write uh, the three resistors first and then I will write the uh, DC current source. So RA and it is between 1 and 2. You can, I, I told you earlier you can interchange the uh, nodes of the resistors but not the active elements. Okay, so here uh, the value of it is 5k. So I write 5k. RB, this is of 2, 0, between 2 and 0 more as you can see from here. And its value is 4k and finally rc this is between 3 and 0 so i let me write it out like phone, 0 3 and it is 1k okay so we have covered the registers now it's time of uh, the current source so it is i s name it's from 2 so here it is also important from for current source first node is from so here current flows from 3 to Two number node. So first comes three and then comes two. And also it is a DC current source. So I write DC and the value is two milliamps. Again, A is conditional here. Now the most important part here as in a schematic you have to you had to put the ground node. Similarly, A while you are writing it list, you have to keep in mind that you have to always end the script file or the text file with dot end. Otherwise, it will not simulate. Okay. Okay. So now this is our netlist. You can see this here from here again. And now we have to save this file. So also follow this carefully. You have to go to file and then save as. And then you have to save it somewhere. So uh, let me save it here. And the name of the file would be exactly like what you used here. You use your circuit1.cir. You also have to write here circuit1.cir. Otherwise, it will not run. So let's keep this keep this in mind. Okay. So now I have saved this. Okay, now it's saved. Now we have to simulate. Okay, let me go to Windows and search. So let me do this. 